Hello, everybody, and welcome back to. Uh, okay. <laughs> welcome back to Pokemon Explorers of Sky. I am Van the Vixie, and this is Malin, who is currently speaking, the little Vulpix, and Vanny the Eevee. And we are at the Wigglytuff Guild, apparently, where there is lots of scary totems and a giant Wigglytuff shaped building. Anyway, let's get into it. This is Wigglytuff's guild. Uh, to form an exploration team, you must uh, you must register your team here. Somebody texted me. Uh, then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Uh, y yikes! Uh, isn't this place a little bit odd? Or it's just bleh? oh my god, I can't speak. <laughs> Isn't this place just a little bit odd? It just is. No. I've got Vanny with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? Footprint is Vulpix! Footprint is Vulpix's! That still sounds wrong to me. Wah! No. I can't lose it now. You may enter. Someone is with you. So, get that stranger to stand up there. Okay. I think they mean you, Vanny. He said to stand up there. Okay, then let me stand up now. Look, a grate in the floor. I want waffles all of a sudden. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. What if the... A Joltic would fall through that. Oh hell yeah. A Joltic would fall through that hole. Still, it really it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feet or Hey you, stranger! Get on the grate! I gotta whip my eyes. Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is the footprint is um What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Um... Er... Hole. Deep ground hole. Oh look, it's a Diglett. Um... The footprint is... Maybe Eevees? Maybe Eevees. What? Maybe? But, but... It's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but... I don't know what I don't know. Uh, what? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait! Well, it's true, you don't see many Eevee in this part, in these parts, but you don't seem bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! Dramatic ground shaking. Yipes! I'm so nervous, so jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart is pounding, though. Anyways, let's go. Inside we go. There's a hatch that leads us underground. Hop down the hole. Do 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 do. Wow! Look at all the Pokemon. That he has the biggest head ever. So this is Wigglytuff's guild. There sure are a lot of Pokemon here. Do they all belong to exploration teams? Excuse me. I hate you. I hate you so much. W it was you two that just came in, right? Y yes I'm Chatot! I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I'm the- I'm Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right hand Pokemon. Now shoot! Leave the premises! You have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off- Off you go! If you please! N no that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team, so we came here. We 
want to get proper training as an exploration team. Well, what? Exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want her skills. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady stream of Pokemon that run away from a vigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me? Is the expert training Yeah, is the exploration team training that harsh? What? Well no, no no no. That's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me that up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. Hehe. <laughs> I hate you. I hate my own voicing of you. What an attitude shift. I'm just gonna go with what I was saying. Okay, let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me. Oh god, now I sound like the fish from Wind Waker. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, quickly. I know it's a guy, but I don't really care. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Hop, 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 hop. Cuteness. Wow, we're two floors underground, but you can still see outside. Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you'd be able to see outside. Oh. Well, now here we are at Guildmaster Whaley Jeff's chamber. On no account, or if you don't on no account, should you be discourteous to a Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's your turn. I'm coming in. I don't even know what's going on with this voice. Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our team as a our guild as apprentices. Guildmaster, um, Guildmaster. Hiya! I'm Wigglytuff. I'm the guild's guildmaster. You want to form an e yeah. You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it. First, you must register your exploration team's name. So, tell me, your team's name? Uh, oh, uh, our team's name? I didn't think about a team name. So, what do you think would be a good team name for us, Vanny? Vanny, Vanny. No, I know what I want. I want uh, Dora. Oh, oh where's M? We're team Adora Bombs, and yes, Adora Bombs is okay. Adora Bombs? Team Adora Bombs! I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect for us. All settled then. I'll register you as your team as Adora Bombs. Registering, registering, all registered. Yum da! Congratulations! We're now on your official exploration team. I present you with this commemoration. <laughs> we get a box. Wigglytuff set down a Pokemon team exploration team kit. A Pokemon exploration team kit? Yep, it's what every team needs. Quickly open it up! Malin opened the exploration team kit. There was an explorer badge inside, and a wonder map. And a treasure bag. Yes, there's all sorts of great items in here. That's your explorer badge. It's your official team identification. And that's and there's the wonder mat, which is such a wonder of convenience. And finally, there's the treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. And your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. This music is really, really damn catchy. Mal peered into the treasure bag. There was a zinc band inside. And a, blue, a sky blue bow. Wait, is that based off of what I got at the beginning? Maybe. Those two items are special. I'm sure they'll help you on your adventure. Th th thank you! We'll do our best. Yep. 
but you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. We will! Let's always do our best, Vanny! Do, do. Yay! Oh god, the cuteness! The cuteness! This is your room. Yay, we get this! I would hope so. You will live here while you work for us. Things will start to get busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. Oh, I forgot about his voice. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That's this all. <laughs> I completely forgot about Chat Chat's voice. Ah, uh, pretty moon. Pretty moon and black bottom. Oh my god, they're so cute. Aw, <laughs> oh, just look at them. Just look. They're so damn cute. Say, are you still awake, Vanny? My heart's been racing all day. But I'm glad I finally forced myself to come here. I thought Wiggly Tough would be kind of scary, but he was pretty nice. We all exper we'll experience all sorts of new stuff starting tomorrow, but I'm not very frightened. Actually, I can't wait to find out what new adventures are in store for us. I'm getting a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, man. Sleep tight. Yawn. Um. Now I'm suddenly. Vulpix does not look like she's sleeping. I mean, Mullen. Mullen, you do not look like you're sleeping whatsoever. You look like you're eating your foot or something. Anyway. Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be an exploration team. And it's fun to be friends with Malin. But first things first. Who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't, won't help right now. I'd better focus on the guild's work for tomorrow, for now. If I do that, well, eventually things should become clear. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. In time for what? Ah, oh, cute, nice. Adora Bumps is a perfect name. And yes, please, I would love to save my adventure. I'm sorry, there's no game card for me to touch, computer. Uh, save complete. Exploration team quick tip. You can save, you can record a pro- yeah, You can save a record of your progress by climbing into your bed from now on. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb into your bed. Awesome! The next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Uh, swirly eerie eyes. M my head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice. It almost blasted my eardrums. Why are you still asleep? Aww. Wake up! Uh, my poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm loud red. And I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry. So move it. Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper. If you make him lose it, yeah, we. That would be what scary scene. <laughs> I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeesh. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So getting in gear. Getting in gear. Get in, in gear. Er, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Spontaneous! Exclamation point? Er, oh yeah! We signed up as apprentices of Wigglytuff's guild, that's right! But that means... Ah, oh, we only slept! Come on, Vanny! Okay, sure. You're late, rookies! Hush. Your voice is ridiculously loud. Oh. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let's conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. 
What does this horrible sound like? Don't match your to never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Eek, his eyes are right open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! We look so confused. We're just like, huh? And there we are. We are free to roam around the guild now. Here's Diglett. Oh. Hey, you shouldn't just be wandering around there. You two come here. Okay. Okay then. Oh god, we are the cutest things ever. We're just beginners. Let me start off with this assignment. This is the bullet, the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You are aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in great numbers, right? Yep. Because the flow of time is getting messed up and it's wreaking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up? Time? As in hours and minutes? Does that mean that something's gone wrong with the time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are cropping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time to get time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we've noticed an increase in number of jobs. In addition, it is unknown if time is if this is because of time's influence. There has been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons. So, Vanny, you know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. So if you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. You can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there's always new things to discover. They're really fantastic places to go explore. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. All jobs take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job you should perform. Ah, yes. Maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. Aw, oh, Spoinks are cute. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to me. I just can't settle down if that pearl isn't properly placed atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It is said to be on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be oh so kind just to go to the bluff and get back my pearl? I'll beg your help, exploration team members. From Spoink. Wait a second. We're gonna fetch an item that someone dropped? I'd rather go on a bigger adventure than that. I'd rather look for treasure and explore unknown places, things like that. Hush. Thanks. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either one of you pays. You'll lose half your money, and you could lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you've understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Mm. Oh, cool new music. This must be the Burloff's entrance. Boink's mission description said the, place, the pearl is deep down on floor number seven. It's supposed to be very dangerous. So let's be really careful. Let's do our best, Vanny. Ah, cute! I'm sorry. Uh, drenched bluff. And now we can both hold one item each. And now that we have the treasure bag, we can keep 16 items in our inventory. 
special items like bows only work if held on a Pokemon, so use give as an option under the item selection of the menu to hand it over. Um, so, yes, here we are. Drenched Bluff. That was a really talking heavy thing, but I think this would be the best time to leave off the episode. So, we will explore Drenched Bluff and kill this little Lily later. In the next episode. Actually, right away in the next episode. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been part three? Yes, part three of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, and it just opened up our stuff. And, well, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!